Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little project pan update. Um, I know this is coming a little bit late, but bear with me. I think I'm going to change my upload schedule to be just Thursdays with the amount of work that I've been doing and the amount of travel I've been doing. It's just not plausible for me to do two videos a week. So I'm going to switch back to one video a week on Thursday. So this video should be up on a Thursday. Let's Let's just get into it. If you're new here, hi, my name is Vivian. I'm a robotics engineer with a love for all things beauty and makeup related. I am uh, currently working on a project pan. My channel is gonna try and focus more on conscious consumption and keeping things in your collection that you really like and love and love to use. And so if you're interested in that kind of content, be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already. And let's hop into it. So I don't really have a ton of exciting updates this go around. I finished up one project or I'm calling one project product. I'm calling one product done and I'm gonna replace that but a lot of these have been making slow but steady progress. So this isn't a super exciting update but I'm hoping that you can still see a little bit of progress in the in the um, products that I've chosen. First I want to talk about the e.l.f primer infused bronzer i think i'm starting to see a little bit of a dip it doesn't look like it's that much but also i feel like maybe this is my mind playing tricks on me but i feel like i can start to see the metal ring i'm obviously not close to being done with it yet not not a chance but i'm starting to see ring so maybe that's a good sign I thought I saw a ring last time, but I don't know. I've used this every time I've done my makeup this past month. And I I will be honest, when I was in, or when I was on my work trip, I was out in the hot sun all day, so I didn't wear a ton of makeup. And so I didn't wear as much makeup as I normally would. So maybe that's why progress is a little slow. But I'm hoping that I'll get more progress out of this in the next month. Another product that doesn't have a ton of exciting updates is the Rose Ink Blush. You can start to see a dip going on. It's not a huge dip, but it's a dip nonetheless. This product is super pigmented, and I've been using this every day, like I said, when I do my makeup. So I don't need a ton of product like on my brush to get a nice like flush of color. And I... I... I don't know. I'm starting to see progress. It's not a ton. I'm going to continue making my way through it and hopefully I'll be able to finish a little bit more of this in this next month. Okay, next product is the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. Hopefully you can see in the close-ups if I've made a lot of progress from this. I can't really tell, but I am I'm working my way through it. I'm trying to get rid of this hard pan though right now um i think with the close-up you can already see the hard pan so i'm gonna get rid of this hard pan <sighs> hopefully i'll start seeing more progress i'm not really sure why it hard pan like so many layers but yeah i still really like the powder it still looks really nice on my skin i'm wearing it right now and <sighs> it just gives like such a nice finish like everything looks cohesive when i use it and i'm still obsessed with this powder so excited to, to continue using this the next item is the rare beauty dewy lip balm in the shade thankful i've used this a couple times so you might see a little bit of progress but the taste of this is not great not that i'm trying to taste my lip products but when when i do taste it for whatever reason like it really does not taste good and it makes me want to wipe it off so not my favorite lip product i'm also wearing it right now but it it gives a nice like neutral color and it gives me something on my lips which i normally wouldn't have so i'm still gonna continue using it i'm still gonna continue trying to use it up i'm just gonna try really hard not to like taste it i guess the brow pencil the anastasia brow pencil or brow whiz technically is making making its way through through the course or yeah it's it's i'm working on it um i haven't been filling in my brow as much as i used to like i used to fill in my brows 
so much and they'd be like super blocky now i try to just fill in the spots that i feel like i need a little bit more like filling in so like usually on the outer corners and a little bit underneath like towards the center so yeah working our way through it maybe you can see some progress with the close-ups but probably not a ton i would say this is gonna take me a couple more months as well like i I kind of knew this going in that I wouldn't have a ton of super exciting updates this month. There are just a lot of products here that I wasn't close to finishing when I put them in the project. So it's not the most exciting and I'm sorry about that. But you know, hopefully you can see that I'm still making progress. Okay, next is the Kosas Revealer Concealer. Okay, so it if you can see, I'm like scraping the sides, but there's a lot of product towards the bottom still like I would say the actual product is like just at the bottom past the O in Kosas so like if you can see I think the product is like down to here and it's all around the sides I think I'm gonna try and get a little bit more use out of this before I call it done so I'm gonna pull out the stopper um, I've tried the hot water trick to get it to all settle to the bottom so I can mark it. It doesn't work. So I don't have a marking for this, but it's it's getting close to being done for sure. And the last item in my project pan, this is the most exciting one, is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm going to call this done. I tried taking the stopper out. Cannot do it. I almost broke my tweezers trying to get the stopper out. I scraped as much of the side as I possibly can and I don't have any products coming out anymore. So I'm going to call this done and empty, which I'm pretty happy with the amount of uses I got out of this. This mini I want to say is like $15 and I think I used up enough of it for that to be worth it. So I'm going to call this empty and get rid of that. And to replace the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Follows filter, I'm actually going to throw in my, say, what is this called? The Glowy Super Gel in the shade Star Glow. So this is also a mini size. So you can see the product is like right there now. I will definitely mark it after this video or after I finish filming this video. But I'm hoping that I can finish this in like a month or two. This product goes really quickly. I like to use this as an under the face primer, like all over the face. So I'm, I'm pretty sure this will go relatively quickly. The formula is nice. It doesn't have any coverage in my opinion. So it really just leaves like a really pretty glow. And this glow is very different than the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I would say this glow is much more subtle and like dewy whereas this one can look a little bit shiny at times if that makes sense like this is a much more subtle glow than this one if you're using it as a primer but that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed i'm sorry that it wasn't super exciting i hope to be more productive with these products in the next month or so and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next one bye